What's up everyone, Coach Dan back again for day 112 of our at home OTF workouts. So today's workout we're focusing on total body, specifically total body endurance. And this workout has a bit of a challenge feel to it because we are working up and down a tough sort of ladder of exercises and reps. Okay, so it's going to be a great one, definitely get you working hard and burning. Okay, as always we've got those live workouts on Zoom so it'd be great to see you join us for one of those. We're going live 10 a.m. with Coach Izzy and then later 4 p.m. with Coach Tom. And as always, please share your results with us on social media. Remember the hashtag I can, I will. Post them on Facebook because we love seeing your guys' progress and seeing how you get on with these workouts. Either way, have a great one. See you soon. The opportunity to move your body is a great gift. I hope you choose to move it every day. How are we doing team? Coach Johnny here, representing from the beautiful San Jose, California. I get the privilege of getting you guys warmed up here today. Let's get to work. Five movements, five minutes of work, so everything's gonna be 60 seconds total. Here we go, number one. I need you to lie down, belly prone on the mat, neck neutral, arms to the side. We're gonna go through Cobra Swing. Let's raise up spine into extension. There's the swing of the arm, creating that little snow angel. Arms out straight, back down, lower down style control. Repeat, coming up, swing it out, finish point, and then back to start. Movement number two. Come on up, hands and knees. We're gonna create the fire hydrant, get the glute mat a little more activated. From here, I'm gonna keep the heel up, create a half circle with the knee. Come back down to the starting point, and then head up in the opposite direction, and repeat. You're going to do 30 on the left, 30 on the right. Number three, standing position. So we're going to go hip hinge with the T-spine rotation. So I'm going to push this hip out, chest forward, freeze. Arms hang straight without letting the hip be too involved. I'm going to rotate up, shoulder arm through, and then alternate to the other side. You have 60 seconds total there. Movement number four, set like you would a good squat position. It's a five point squat. Ready? Hip hinge, slide the hands down the body, push the hip out. As one, now slide the hips under, two, number three is arm, arm, there's four, and that's five to bring it home. So, hip hinge out, if you need the option, just decrease the range you go through, raise the arm up, other arm up, and stand. Bring it home here, guys, create the railroad track, so stay within the hip nature, you're going to step back, I'm going to create a rotation on an alternating reverse lunge. And this looks like every time. 90 to 90, feel the weight distributed, come up tall. Five movements, all one minute in total. Team, let's get warmed up.
Mindset separates the best from the rest. Hey, Arms Nation, Coach Michelle here from Long Island, New York. I'm gonna take you guys to your first block here today. It's 10 minutes long, six exercises. We're going all the way down that rep count, all the way back up, and if we got time, we have an ISO squat, hold at the very end. Now, your first exercise is gonna be a weighted power jack. 50 total reps here. Grab your medium weight, place it in front of your chest, jump those feet out, hands go right on overhead. Option, step it out, step it on in. Second exercise, we're gonna go for a lateral raise to a front raise. So you're gonna grab those light objects for weight. You're gonna set that position, taking those dumbbells to your shoulder height, resetting in the center. Your option here is to lighten the weight. We're going 40 total reps. Then we're gonna take it down to the ground. We have your forearm plank jacks, 30 reps. L's directly underneath your shoulders. Back is flat, you're gonna jump those feet out and in. Option, step it out, step it on in. Remaining on the ground, we have hand release push-ups, 20 reps. Hands to the mid of your chest, slightly outside of your shoulders. Chest to the ground, hands come off the ground. Everything dries up at the same time. Now your option here is to take this exercise down onto your knees. Flipping on over, we have a single leg alternating V up, 10 total. Hands behind your head, lift your chest up. Fingertips come towards your toes. Your option here, guys, is to bend those knees. After those V-ups, we're gonna go right back to those hand release push-ups, working up that rep count. If we have time remaining, we have that ISO squat hold. So feet are shoulder width apart, weight in those heels, chest is up. We'll hold it for the remainder of the time. Options come up slightly here. So once again, 10 minute long, six exercises. We go down the rep counts, we go up, we hold the squat if we have time. Ours Nation, let's get to work.
Today, I want you to be where your feet are. Believe in yourself, push those limits, conquer those goals, and be happy. What is up, Orange Nation? My name is Coach Nikki. I am here from Sandy Springs, Georgia. Shout out to my Orange Theory Sandy Springs family. This is block two. We have four exercises in this block. It's gonna be eight minutes long, and we're gonna be doing 10 reps of all four exercises, you guys, until time. So we're gonna start with that first exercise, hip hinge reverse fly. You're hinging over those hips, back is flat, head is neutral. Drive those weights up, squeeze those shoulder blades at the top, elbows in line with those shoulders. You guys, your option, you can limit that range of motion, we can take down those weights. You have 10 reps total. Then we're headed to that wood chopper, we're gonna grab that weight, soft knees under you, bring that weight to that hip, Drive it up across that body. Follow that weight with your eyes. Your option for this one, you guys, you can limit that range of motion. We can also lower down that weight. You have 10 reps on each side with that wood chopper. Then we're headed to that ISO hip bridge chest fly. So we're gonna lay back right here. You're gonna shoot those hips into the sky. We're gonna open up those arms, elbows equal with those shoulders, squeeze those glutes at the top, nice, slow, and controlled. Your option for this one, take down those hips. You guys can lower down that weight. You have 10 total. Our final exercise in this block, you guys have a plank pull through. So we're in that plank position, wide stance with those legs, weight shifted forward over those wrists, Drive that weight, pull it through, set position. Keep those hips, eliminate that wobble. You guys can take it down from to your knees for that option. You have 10 total. This block is eight minutes long. We're gonna be working through these reps until time. Let's get it started, let's go.
rush, stay paced. Your workouts, just like life, should be done with purpose. How we doing, CM Coach Johnny here to bring you block through your final block of work. This is what we got, 10 minutes of work, ascending, descending ladder, let's start with movement number one. It's gonna be 10 reps. Hands back right over the shoulders, feet locked wide, belly button drawn in. What I'm trying to do here is I lower the elbows, keep the hip very quiet as I lower down, other arm, and right back up. If I need the option, head down to the knee, slow down, and repeat. From there, team, top body up, we're gonna go broad jump to shuffle, 20 reps. So, end of the mat, I'm gonna load the hip back and through, use the arms as we head forward, laying softly, light tiptoe back as we go through. So say I love, bring it through, land softly, 
and repeat. Movement number three is the only one in which I need dumbbells for the block. It's gonna be an upright row. So, eight pounds or greater, all athletes, these weights, my joints of life are gonna be tracing the body line, separating it to shoulder line width, coming right back down, so I'll control and repeat as we go through. Movement number four, and down to the mat again. This is gonna be 40 total. To create the good set position, go 90, hands up, belly button in, extend, flex the toe, and we're gonna go over and under 40 total. Option for me on this great call, bringing the legs further away from the ground. Team, movement number five, high knee. So, set the position, I'm gonna bring the knees up, see the position, arms active, as we run for 50 total, if we need the option, just one at a time. If you get all the way to the high knees and work your way all the way back up, those five movements, whatever time remains, head your forearms, set the feet, Shoulder way back down, hip tucked, and hold the plank until time is called. Options always works on the knee. Team on love you. That sounds like 10 minutes fun to me. Let's go get them.
Be the kind of person that makes others want to up their game. Awesome job, you guys. Coach Nikki here again with you for a short five-minute flexibility block. We're going to hold these stretches for about 20 seconds on, 10 seconds in between. So we're going to start with that standing cross-body static stretch right here. Pull that arm into that body. You're going to hold this for 20 seconds on the left arm, 20 seconds on the right side. Then we have that standing chest stretch, arms in that goal post position, pushing through that chest right here, 20 seconds seconds and then we're going to release that. You have that flexion in that wrist. Pull those fingertips up towards the sky right here. 20 seconds. We're going to flip that palm down. Give me that extension for 20. Give me that left side, that right side, and then we're headed down. We're going to head down to that cross body stretch right here. We're going to cross that leg, opposite arm on that knee, rotation in that middle, 20 seconds on the left. Again, switching it out, 20 seconds on the right. Everybody's favorite, that toe reach. Reaching towards those toes right here as far as you can. Chest is lifted, 20 seconds. And then 10 seconds to get into that final stretch right here. That figure eight, cross that leg, pushing through that knee. Feel that stretch in that glute. 20 seconds on the left, switch it out. 20 seconds on the right. We have five minutes in this flexibility block, you guys. Let's get those bodies cooled down and let's get to work. Let's go.
of trouble can I explore with you? No, I can't wait to see what love is to. It's true cliche, but that's cause it's the truth. No, I can't wait to get so close to you. Just a little more dancing, a little more taking chances. Just a little more glancing, a little more more advancing. Just a little more dancing, a little more less for granted. Just a little more dancing, a little more dancing. 